So this is the third and final method that we talked about today for finding the least common multiple. It's a take on the upside down half birthday cake, similar to what we use for the GCF. So if you got it when we did GCF, this actually works really well because there's not too many differences when you're working with two numbers at least. So we started with 10 and 12. We're finding the LCM of those two numbers. So I'm going to follow the same steps I used when I started half birthday cake for GCF. So I put a layer, and then I think, what can I factor out of both? I can factor a 2. That leaves me with a 5, and over here, a 6. Now, can I factor anything else out? No. So my GCF was 2. But if I want to do LCM, I'm going to think of the L, and I'm going to kind of make a bubble L around everything that's on the outside of the cake. So the 2, the 5, and the 6. Then I simply would multiply 2 times 5 times 6. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 6 equals 60. That's our LCM. So you can see it's pretty quick. Uh, now the, the one thing I will caution is that if you are using three numbers, it's a little bit different sometimes because using just this method isn't going to work. The example we did in class today uh, was, let's say I had 4, 10, and 12. Now if I was finding the LCM, it's actually going to be 60 for these numbers. But if I use the half birthday cake, 2, 5, and 6, and I did 2 times 2 times 5 times 6, I would get 120. So if I am using three numbers, and this only is for our, the LCM, this doesn't work for the GCF, if I have at least two numbers that still have a factor, I have to factor that out. So since I have a 2 and a 6, I could factor a 2 out of. I'm going to pull a 2 to the side. That will turn to 1. This will turn to 3. And the 5 is actually just going to drop down. Okay, I did not factor a 2 out of it, so it just stays where it is. Then I would do my L-shaped circle thing, and I have 2 times 2 times 1 times 5 times 3. 2 times 2 times 5 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 3 equals 60. So 60 is my LCM for both of these. You can have an LCM that works for both two numbers and three numbers. This is the trick for if you're doing it with three numbers, you keep factoring if you can do at least two of them. So the one that we just did with 12, 16, and 36, we'll show that we can do that too. So if I have 12, 16, 36, you think, what can I factor out? I can factor 2 out. So that leaves me with 6, 8, and 18. Can I factor anything else? Yes, I can factor another 2. So I get 2, I get 3 there, 4 here, and a 9 here. Now this is where I normally would stop is if I'm G doing GCF, because I have 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 is the greatest factor. However, if I'm doing LCM, I can keep going if I have at least two numbers that I can factor something out. So I can factor 3 out of here and here. So I put my 3 on the side. This turns into 1. The 9 turns into a 3, and the 4 just drops down because I couldn't factor anything out of it. Now I no longer have more than two numbers, or I don't have two numbers that still have the same factor. So I'd have to kind of draw my sort of L-shaped thing. I'd say it's L-shaped because it's least common multiple. It's kind of close to an L. And then I would have to multiply all these numbers. 2 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 3. So we would have 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 gives us 12 times 4 times 3. That's the same thing as 48 times 3. And then if I did 48 times 3, again, use your multiplication. Use your space space, show your work. 4, 24, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 gives me 14, and I would get GCF equals 144. So now this bringing them down only works if you have three numbers. If you have two numbers, you just factor those two until you can't factor anymore. Draw the L shape, multiply what's in the L shape, and you will have your GCF. So that's method number three, uh, finding the LCM I think I might have said GCF there, but it's finding the LCM using the upside down half birthday cake method.